Hello and welcome once again fellow gaming fans, this is Small Archangel, thank you for joining me for today's episode of Spirit Animal Survival and uh, this is the story so far. It's not much, but it's what we've got to call for home at the moment. Uh, we've got what, four by three platform here with a little cooking fire, a couple of chests for storing things in and a very black texture free TP which we looted from a mob. Uh, I dumped the rest because it became obvious that was not, not really good to us. We were not able, as far as I'm aware, to store anything in it, which is what I was, thought I was going to be able to do. Because the description suggested we were going to be able to, but there you go. Okay, so before we do anything else, a few little announcements vis-a-vis -vis the game. There's been some changes in a recent update, which uh, I will go through now. We've had some additions, which is super. We can now build a fort. We can build two types of fort. We can build a stone castle. Um, although, as far as I'm aware, they're still working on snapping, so being able to snap pieces together with the gateway and the walls and things. Um, and we can also build a wooden fortress, which looks pretty cool, actually. We've no space to do that here, obviously, so we'll probably wait until we've got somewhere and we're doing a sort of a second base scenario to test that one out. And then we can also make a craftable frigate. Uh, like a big ship with cannon, like a pirate type ship, with some good I images available on Steam or online if uh, if you have a mind to go and look. Uh, so that looks pretty cool as well. Don't reckon the thing will actually be sailable, would be pretty epic if we could sail it, maybe in future we'll be able to, so it might be worth us exploring that as well. But without, with a complete absence of any creative mode here, we're going to have to do everything from scratch, by the book by punching and chopping down trees and all of that and as you've seen in previous episodes that ain't so easy to do uh so a couple of changes now those are in, they're the additions and they're adding stuff all the time the devs but they're also changing things all the time and one of the things that they've changed and i'm very very glad about this is animal spawns so the animal spawns have been nerfed so that there's not nearly so many creatures spawning now um which should make things rather easier because i was being mobbed in my own house by turtles um and uh, also they have changed um this respawn so that when you kill an animal it doesn't respawn back in which means if you do have something on your doorstep that's causing you trouble once you killed it it won't immediately respawn back in and start aggroing on you again so that's good too uh, and then there's some bug fixes which have been put in place as well with hit boxes and damage for damage box uh, damage and looting um npcs and animals and creatures as well so that should make our lives distinctly easier so uh, obviously last week we had some technical issues as well so apologies for that first and foremost i tried to make a record a recording and my recording just software just it just failed it did not record at all so hopefully that's not going to happen this time and also we had audio problems but i hope i've now got those resolved i've tested it sounds okay now so we should be fine um so we are just plagued sometimes with these things um and the other thing is we had some problems in game and uh, actually we've had an answer from the devs themselves on the channel which is great uh saying something which i'd forgotten about which is the karma system duh yeah we've got a karma system which means really we have to be a bit careful about what we kill and why if you are below 70 percent hunger you will get damage retribution so you will take damage when you attack a mob but as far as I understand it, that's not supposed to happen when the mob is aggressive. If the mob is aggroing on you and attacking you, you're defending yourself and so it shouldn't happen. I'm not convinced that that was what was happening before. I think that the mobs, I was fighting turtles and they were actually sometimes at least aggressive to me first. But that is something I'm going to watch out for now. So karma system. And then the other thing is, which I had forgotten about. Well, actually, I didn't know about because they changed the way that the uh, they changed the way that the spawns worked uh, at the time. Is that if we craft a totem pole, the totem pole will actually keep spawns away from our base. Now there's nothing here at the moment, and that remains to be seen how the spawning works. Now they've changed it again. But there's still nothing here apart from our little horsey. But we will set a, a totem here because that means if we fly away on our dragon and stuff, we're going to be able to find our way back here easily enough. But if we set a totem, that will stop uh, creatures from spawning too near our base as well. So we'll put a totem out the back here or perhaps somewhere, somewhere over by this uh, TP. I wish I could move it, actually. I mean, you can see. Maybe I can. Didn't used to be the case that you could remove... It's a rock, apparently, according to these bits of stuff flying around. 
and it's got a red dot on my but I don't know that the, there's no progress bar there's no way of knowing whether that's just wearing out my axe it probably is red yeah a red dot I don't know what that means but I don't seem to be able to I can't store anything in it I can't remove it and it's got well, it's ugly because it's got no textures. So that is kind of frustrating. But I think we're probably going to have to just live with a blasted thing, which is not great. But there you go. Uh, so totem. Let's see. Can we make a totem? We've at least got a little bit of armor on us now. It's not great, but, you know, here. Let's do a search totem. Oh, now I think this one, this will ward off unwanted guests from Spirit and Mortal World. Great, great, great. We need log, we need gold, and we need level 15. Ha! So we're not going to be able to make that for a few levels yet anyway. So for the moment, we're just going to have to exist on a wing and a prayer and hope that we don't get mobbed by mobs. So till we get to level 15, that is going to be a problem. Uh, log, gold. Okay, we've got various things, or we should have. Let's just check out. We've got some meat there. We can turn into steaks. We've got 10 in there already, so we don't need to worry about that too much. I do have some gold in here, but only six. And our totem is going to need how much? 10. Right, so we need a bit more. So it seems to me that what we really need to do is go mining today. We've got some big rocks over here. We know we have. I'll just get a bit of a drinky. While we're at it, there we go. Now, according to the devs, we should also be able to swim without dying. However, that there is what causes the death. Eventually, you get sucked down so much and so far. See, I can't get up. You, you just get further and further down, pulled further and further down, so you end up drowning. So that is what causes death by water. I mean, it's quite realistic in the sense that, yes, you would, in point of fact, die if that kept happening. What I'm not clear on is why we keep getting sucked down. Now, at this point, should I be worried? I can't see a single solitary creature. I mean, I know they've nerfed the spawns, but having zero surely isn't quite the idea either. Oh, well, all we can do, folks, is carry on and see what happens. This is the joy of Alpha, etc. So we're going to gather some stone. We're also going to get some sand here and some gold and precious semi and semi precious ores so gold silver and copper which we're going to be able to do stuff with later on and really what we need to do is gain some levels but we can't do that by just going around murdering stuff because that would be yeah that would be bad karma so we're going to go over here and get this one as well because last time we did an episode last week we had a great big t-rex here today we've got nada so we've gone from one extreme to the other, being mobbed constantly with a perimeter of nasties on all sides, to there being zilch, and we could possibly be the only creatures alive in the entire world. I'm not sure. There. I'm glad encumbrance is not a thing, because now... Oh, we still only got six gold, 15 copper, and obviously we're going to end up with more or less co uh, gold, because gold is more rare. Um, and let's see, I've got plenty of food, so we don't need to worry about that right now. Maybe we should get on the horse and go do a bit of exploring. Uh, there is a boulder up there as well. Maybe I should go get that. We can pretty much jump up anything at this point. There we go. Woo! It's like I'm flying. We can, of course, fly. What is this? That's just a bit of random grass. It's the only bit of grass here. Because we've got our dragon mount, and maybe what we should do is go search for some... I don't know. Something that will attack me first. What is this? I don't know if it's glowing. Is it a tomato? It's an orange. Okay, well, I haven't seen one of those before. Right, where's my hatchet? Here we go. I'll just have a tree or two. I don't think that that has changed. Yes, yes, it is. Okay, which means now... Oh, crap! There. Is he dead? He's dead. Okay, so that did not give me any bad karma. Oh, paper. Is that paper? What is that? Hardened leather. Ooh, nice. Hardened leather is good. We'll definitely need that. Now, he will stay dead as well. Yeah, you see, I get a red dot on that, and I think that means you can't do anything about this. It's just going to be stuck there. Okay, so what we're going to do now, uh, we're going to hit... Our dragon friend, there he is, and I'm going to see if we can actually get him to fly. 
because he's often not very forthcoming when it comes to flying. Are you flying? Are you actually? You are flying, I think, but it looks like my FOV has changed, which means I can't really see his wings properly. There we go. So we'll head off to the Growl's village because we know that there's guys here. There's a little cow as well. I wish I could take that home. But every time I try, it despawns. Maybe we'll try it again just to make sure. Now, we can't see any spawns here. Oh, kaboom. That gets me every time. Okay, let's just get rid of the dragon there. There don't seem to be any little gnomes spawning here at all. So that's a little odd, a little problematic. I'll probably just have picked up about 12 more something strange there yes there's a lime there's an apple at my feet how cute okay probably just got given a, about three more uh three more of these spears as well uh so we'll have plenty to spare just in case uh of dying and dropping everything and not getting it back let's see if there's anything in here there isn't anything in there really is there not but there's no no spawns there either i'm fairly sure there's supposed to be some critters spawn in here but it doesn't look like it at the moment. Okay, so we're going to get our pickaxe and take a bit more stone. We're going to have to make some more chests. We're going to need lots of chests. I also want to make an anvil because if we can make an anvil, we can uh, get ourselves... Oh, there we go. Let's see if we can get this cow. If we can make ourselves an anvil, then uh, we can uh, repair stuff like our axe, for example. Hello, missus. Now... I can effectively tame her by just taking some milk. There we go. I don't think we even need to press the tame key. But I will do that just in case. Here she comes. Isn't she cute? I really like this cow. She's very, very cute. But it does take quite a while to get her home. So let's hope we can do this because it's going to get dark. And when it gets dark, we're not going to be able to see. And there's no point taking another horse. We already have a horse. Let's go this way. And the horse goes too fast for the cow anyway. Come on, Daisy. Let's have you. And we'll tell her to stop following, and hopefully she will stop following. There we go. Okay, and she's well out of the way, and we may as well have a bit more milk. Nice. There we go. Let's have a little look. Yeah, we've got two milk. We've got 16 salt, so we can cook some more meat, which is lovely. Let's just hop up here and do that. We've also got these to rehydrate us, but they don't seem to rehydrate us that much. So we'll pop that in there and the salt in there. And that's going to make us 16 meat at least. And we need so many more chests. I've got two chests here and I don't think I've even got food in both. Well, I have. There we go. But I need to try and put, I'm going to put that away because it's kind of too bright at the moment almost. Whoop, that's a nicer light. And in this chest we have... What the heck is that? Crunchy carrot seeds. Ooh, we can grow things. But that is not what I put in there, I don't believe. At least, perhaps it is. I have no clue. I don't know if I... Maybe I didn't put anything in this one. I have no idea. Right, let's take a look at our buildings then. Uh, we don't want that in there. Let's just get rid of that. It may be in other or it may be in buildings let's just drop down through here because i think this is all cement right cement and stone and wood and what have you and then here we've maybe got oh no that's that's armor which we know about armor and weapons here we go look frigate cannon now how much does that need 300 logs 30 rustic ropes and 300 metal that's going to take a bit of grinding isn't it and then we've got tropical sailboat tent trebuchet i'm not quite sure that's how you spell trebuchet oh look a veggie plot that is so nice stinky onion rustic tater and level one. Oh, we can do that do we have a stinky onion and a rustic tater i'm not entirely sure we do that's my fruit isn't it let's go to the other side this way we won't need to kill stuff to live so we don't really need to worry about it we have not got a stinky onion we need to look for a stinky onion we have a tater though that is nice. I want to do this. Okay. And no turtles around my house, which I very much appreciate. So that is fab. Okay. We've got some more of these. Very carefully put them in my inventory so that we don't bug them out and drop them on the ground. And then, yeah, let's see. What else have we got? Fence. Fence. Log wall. 
What's this? That's a bit of fort, is it? Defender building piece. Fortress stairs. Oh, nice. So this is a lot of different bits of fortress. That's a... Akecheta. Akecheta fortress gate? I don't know how to pronounce that at all. So that's going to be amazing. Is this is a rust, rustic tater? Rustic tater. Stinky onion. Yay. Right, veggie plot, here we come. Now this is kind of an experiment. I mean, we're on like a, some... Now, do I need to feed my cow, actually? I don't see how I can. Hmm. I did read somewhere that you're supposed to feed them, but I'm not sure if that's a thing or not. So I'll put these leaves in my hand. Not that they eat leaves, but... I'm not eating them myself, right? No, I'm not eating them. And there's no actual way of feeding that to the cow. So it may be that my cow's not despawning. It's just starving to death or beggaring off because I'm not feeding it. But I don't know how to feed it. Again, let's just have a little look in here and see if there's anything that we're supposed to use to feed stuff. Oh, there we go. Straw. Oh, straw. Something we need straw for. Yay. I found a use for straw. Amazing. Right. We're going to make sure we keep Daisy well fed and then she won't forsake us. So we'll drag this carefully. Right. Now, Daisy. <laughs> oh, my word. That is a big haystack. I'm hoping you're not going to need more than, more than one of these, pal. There you go. Right. There it is. Small veggie plot. Craft. Oh, we're doing well today. And we'll place that carefully in my hotbar as well. Now, there it is. It's not ever so large, of course, but that's okay. Now, maybe we need to... Oh, you see, I'm, I'm reluctant to put that on top of a foundation because they take so much to craft. I don't really want to do that. So we'll just place it there and we'll see if that's okay. Open. Okay, it's got... Yay, look, it has got them in it. So we'll get those out of there. And I don't know how often that will respawn, but that is nice. So that plot will give us stinky onions and whatever the heck it is. Oh, that's fruit. I don't want to put that in there, so we'll put that away in there. And, yeah, that will give me the onions... And the taters, which is fabulous. Fabulous uh, Mushrooms, we're going to be... Yeah, I've got mushrooms in there as well. We are still going to need some more spaces, though. And it's possible that we're going to be able to make... Oh, medium veggie. There we go. Uh, crunchy carrot and cucumber. Oh, now, I don't think I have a cucumber at the moment. Cucumber. Is that a cucumber? It is! Nice! Here we go. Right, let's do this. Let's make a medium plot as well. That presumably is a large plot, too. Uh, is it further down? Or has that not been implemented yet? You would think if there's a small and a medium, there would be a large. Large blacksmith. Oh, it's just a shelf, though. I don't think it actually does anything. A lot of things in this game are kind of decorative. Whether they're always going to be decorative or whether they're going to do something in the future, I don't know. Let's just see, shall we? Now, that doesn't look that medium to me. It looks kind of... That's quite cute. Okay, open. Open. Okay, aubergine and whatever that was. Was it a turnip? Let's have a look. Beaty beet. Okay, well, there we go. So that's lots of stuff. We're going to need more space now, definitely, because I really don't have space to put all this stuff in there. Look at that. Uh, and the meat, I'll put that somewhere else, perhaps. But I'm going to need... Wow, hang on a minute. Have I got more than a stack of these? That's ridiculous. That's what I meant to do there. But I still need to try and put these somewhere here we go so we want this here and i hope that this is going to be the right way around yes it is excellent and then we'll put meat in there and we'll put some more food stuffs in there as well and i think i'll put my milk in there also there we go and then if we find another kind of oh there we are uh if we find another kind of uh oh no can't plant these in veggie garden yeah but we already have some veggie gardens so presumably or do i need to put these in there but that's loot isn't it i have no clue i honestly have no clue so i'm just going to put those away in this box for the moment because i don't know what else to do with them there we go uh, i've got poison plums which i don't really know what to do with it i don't really want to eat and then i've got those mushrooms there which for some reason weren't stacking so there we go we've managed to We've managed to, We've got a lot of metal. That is excellent. We've got a lot of things here. I'm going to put a couple of spare 
Uh, spears in there. It's a shame they don't stack. Uh, but I'm fairly sure. I don't know. They might de despawn as well. And we might need that straw because Daisy here might actually finish up this. It might disappear. It might get smaller and then disappear. And then we have to feed her again. I'm honestly not sure. But hopefully she will stay where she is now. Um, and there's a kind of a turnip up there as well. But I think we're probably well served with food now. There's a deer under the water. Uh, we're going to fill our water meter. There's a deer under the water. And we should probably eat something as well. So I'm going to get five. And eat. Did you eat? I don't think you did. Eat. Okay. She's not eating. I'm not quite sure. Oh, she did just then. There we go. For some reason, there's a big cooldown period and you don't get to hear them eating and there's no animation, so it's really hard to tell, actually, whether they are or not. There we go. So, I think she's adequately fed now. So, we're going to go out exploring and see if we can find any creatures much. Uh, should we take the horse? Let's take the horse. On we get. Right, horsey, here you go. And... I'm just watching my stamina bar. This does take up my stamina, so I have to be a little bit careful with that. And we want to pick up some cotton to make more cloth with. We've got some cloth left over, or rather some cotton. There's a turtle there, so I'll be careful of that. And I don't need to pick up random vegetables now, unless I find something that we haven't already got the facility, the ability to grow. Oh, flipping. There's a turtle right there. Now, what I don't know is am I going to be able to pick this up from here? Yes. And then run away. Woo! Okay. I don't wish to hurt that turtle if I don't... Turtles are pacifistic. Pas pas yes, they're pacifists. They are not aggressive. Unless you happen to be a tasty fish, of course. Uh, and not all of them even then. Because some just eat sea kelp, etc. Uh, and let's, let's just watch out in case we meet any foxes as well, because as we know, foxes can kill with one bite, obviously. That's really realistic. And okay, here we go. Let's get back on the horse again and take a bit of a gallop in this direction, because we're going to want to be back at base by dark, because otherwise, well, we won't be able to see anything very much at all. Can I use a torch while on horseback? Yes, I can. It is right in the middle of my face, however, so that is not ideal. There is a cotton plant down there. Lovely. We'll go and get that. This looks like the kind of terrain you really, really wouldn't ride a horse on. But hey, mountain goats only, I think. So we'll have this. If I can find its hitbox, there it is. Oh, I just got off the horse, which isn't what I meant to do at all. Get that. Get back on the horse. Oh, and there's another one here. Fantastic. Yes, we are still on the horse. Kind of difficult to tell. So oh, I pressed the wrong button again. Get back on the horse. Horse. Yes, there we go. E and F, they're very close together, so I find it very easy to mix them up. Kind of keeping my eye out for... There's a frog down there. I don't think we need a frog. And I certainly don't want to be killing it, because the karma will tell against me. Kind of looking out for some garlic, because I'm just thinking about those... That looks like a poison plum, doesn't it? Yep, it is. We don't want that for the moment, because I can't actually work out what to do with it just yet. My horse... I can only see its head if I look straight down, which is a bit strange. It's like I'm really, really tall. Um, but yeah, spices. To make spices so it can make dis a different recipes. And it's going to take, as I say, a heck of a lot of grinding, it seems, to be able to make... Is that a red pepper? It's a red apple. Okay, let's see if we can pick that up. Can I... That, picking that up whilst on horseback is going to be night impossible. So let's just get off the horse. And pick up the apple. There we go. Animal's name. Oh, nice. Okay, let's just see if we can do this. It's a male as well. Oh, my. I can't do it. Okay, that did not quite... I'm not quite sure how I managed to... Oh, no, 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 no. I do not wish to stab my horse. Okay, I'm not quite sure. There we go. You press E and you can name your animal. And I've unfortunately just cancelled it again, so... That didn't quite work, but there must be some way of typing in that box, and I will work it out. But at the moment, I'm not quite sure what I want to call him anyway. Fred or something, who knows. But we can name him, which is nice. And hopefully we'll get back to base, and we'll still have a cow. And maybe we can name her as well. 
And obviously the cow is female because it's a cow, not a bull. All right, let's see if we can see anything from here. Some more red stuff. That's an um. Oh, that's a sweet pepper, actually. We do want to get that. So, because sweet peppers, I'm feeling we're in a recipe that we could make, but we couldn't make because we didn't have... That's just a carrot. We're growing carrots now. I think we're fine for carrots. And I can't remember what recipe that was, but there was a recipe that involved sweet peppers as well. Now, we haven't got a, a totem yet, but we know how to get back to base because it is towards the... She says we know how to get back. It is towards that white square, which currently doesn't have an icon, but that is our respawn location. And obviously, if we respawn, we'd lose a horse, so we're not going to do that. We're just going to ride back. And I'll just have to wait. We just have to be careful of the light fading as well. But I may as well. Now I'm here. Hello, horse. You are still there. Excellent. The horse does seem, fingers crossed, touch wood to be behaving itself now. But we'll get this rock while we're here as well. And we'll just follow the coast. Because if we follow the coast, if all else fails, we can always find our way back home. Okay. It's a really rather lovely landscape. I don't know where the nearest thing is. The werewolf cave is 4,372.8 metres. So that's really quite a long way away. Uh, the all-seeing eye is even further. Then we've got below, whatever that is. It's underground, whatever it is, presumably. Growl Settlement, 770. So that's closer, but that's near to home. And then we've got above. Presumably above is just kind of above ground, but they're not specifying what they are. We've got starting area, and that's about it at the moment. So that's all we can pretty much see. Oh, my word. I think that probably has large pointy teeth, so we're going to be a little bit careful around that. Okay, let's head back in the direction of base, but I might just try going up this hill here. And I think if we're looking for things like garlic and what have you, it's probably better to look on foot uh, because we won't be going quite so quick that way. Some veggies and things are easier to spot than others. For example... Um, these are relatively easy to spot because I've just turned my horse around. It's kind of bugging out, but rather that than disappearing completely, uh, which I think used to be a problem. Oh, it's an Allosaurus. Excellent. Okay, well, I'm not going to tangle with him. My armor re really isn't up to that much. So we'll head up here. Uh, but yeah, I think the real problem with the horse used to be that basically it would disappear when you dismounted, whereas now it just kind of respawns to the side of you slightly, which is preferable, even if it does happen to be facing the wrong way. That sky is moving extremely fast. Okay, I'll have to get the horse to jump up here now. Um, and we should get a pretty good view from up here. And we've made it back just in time for darkness, which is good, but we could do with some lights around here. And at the moment, I'm not entirely sure if we can actually make any. So we're going to park our horse here. Face towards... Oh, well, it was face towards. Maybe we have to do this reverse psychology style maybe if i park it facing the opposite direction no it still wants to face you you perverse creature okay here we go so there's my glowing green veggie veggie plate uh veggie plots and i've got things in here i'm going to need to keep these in my inventory for the moment because otherwise we've nowhere to keep these extra bits of food and uh, we've got fruit to go in this one there we go. And I've got sweet corn, which I haven't currently got any place for, I don't think, because there's no space in there. So, yep, we need yet more chests, unfortunately. But uh, there we go. So, we'll see. I've gathered a few logs, actually, and we have some storage here. Let's see if we do have any storage that we can place in here. Now, that's tall storage. Excellent storage capacity. Now, does it? That sounds like a good plan to me. Now, the last time I placed one of these, unfortunately, um, I'll have my torch so I can see what I'm doing. The last time I placed one of these shelving units, I ended up with, well, I ended up with it being the wrong way round. So I'm hoping very much that that's not going to happen this time. Let's try... Now that looks to me like it's not even going to go on the floor. It looks like it's not even going to place on the floor. Now which way round is that supposed to be? Can you tell? 
Not really. One side's supposed to... I think it's supposed to be that way round. But honestly, it's not that easy to tell. And to get it to go so it doesn't clip through the floor is also going to be quite tricky. So I want to put it kind of in the kitchen area there. Will it fit between those two chests? It will cl clip quite happily between all of my existing bits of furniture, it seems. But I also need to put walls on this joint, really. So I'll put it next here, next to that chest that's already existing. And I'll just bring it forwards a little bit. I think that's going to be more or less the right place, but it's quite difficult to tell because I'm quite far away. And it is facing the right way. Fantastic. Now, has this got excellent storage? Oh, my word, it really has. That is amazing. Okay, well, that has definitely been improved since last time. So I'm going to put... That is not what I meant. I'm going to put these spares in here, and I'm going to hope that they actually stay put in there. So this could be my weapon storage for the moment. This is brilliant. I didn't realize that was so good. And I'm going to put my little knife. I'll keep my little knife, actually. And then maybe, um, I don't know. Can we put these away? Yeah, I can put these away where they are currently. We've got, we've got space for these here. But maybe I should put all my fruit and veggies in here. I don't know. I shall put that in there, certainly. There we go. And we've got lots of other things as well. So I've got nearly two full stacks of metal. Now, it feels like a bit of a risk, to be honest, to put these in here. So until I know for sure that they're not going to despawn, I'm going to leave the metal. I'll put those in there because, honestly, we can get new straw. Even if our livestock needs it to well, eat, we can get tons of that. Every time we hit another tree, we're going to get another bale of straw or 15. So... We can put that in there quite safely without worrying about losing it. All of these we can replace quite easily as well, plus the sweet corn. So I'm just going to do that for storage testing purposes. There we go, folks. So we've got lots more storage now, which is great. We should probably start to work. We've hopefully got a cow uh, to keep. We should probably start thinking about um, building this place so that uh, it's got a door and walls and what have you. I think probably the obvious place to put a door is at the back here. We're probably going to need some steps going down. Uh, I'm not sure if I've got any leg oh, legs, logs left to do that with. But actually I have. I've got some logs. So that's good. So we can do a bit, a bit more building. Uh, we're going to need to make some more planks though. So I think probably what I'll do right now... Um, is make a bunch of planks there we go and we'll make the maximum of those that we can there we are and then we haven't got any logs left but we can make we can gather some more logs in the next episode and then we can perhaps get building this place and making it look a little bit more like a home and we can get some uh get some uh yeah, get some walls on the place and maybe get some lights in here as well. But as I say, I'm not sure that there's any lights that we can get really um, that, that don't have to hang from the ceiling. So uh, otherwise, if there were standing lights, I'd put some on the outside. I shall have a little look and see. But in the meantime, folks, we're going to leave this episode here. I hope you've enjoyed it. It's gone rather better than last time. Uh, the animal spores are definitely lighter. In fact, they're so light, I think it's perhaps gone a little bit too far the other way. But getting the balance right is always going to be a tricky thing. So, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, let me know by hitting that like button. Also, feel free to leave me your comments and suggestions. And if you play this game, let me know how you find it too. And I do hope you'll join me next time we play Spirit Animal Survival. Till next time, keep gaming, keep surviving, and stay happy. Bye-bye for now.